In this problem, we're told if a particle undergoes simple harmonic motion with amplitude 0.18 meters, what is the total distance it travels in one period? So in order to solve this problem, it's pretty simple. So essentially, if you're trying to find the total distance something travels in one period in your given amplitude, and we know it undergoes simple, uh, simple harmonic motion, all you have to do is multiply by 4. So essentially, the formula is 4 times a, and a is just your amplitude, is equal to the total distance traveled. Right, so it just equals the distance. Right, and so this is just going to be the formula you use. So you just want to do uh, 4 multiplied by the amplitude. In this case, uh, we're given the amplitude is 0.18. Right, and so when you do this, you're going to get 0.72, and then this was given in meters. So 0.72 meters, that's going to be uh, the distance traveled. And so I'm going to try and explain to you how this works. So imagine we have uh, something like this, right, and we have a sound wavelength. Right, so it's going to go like this and then go like this, like a, kind of like a sine wave or cosine wave, right? So something that travels like this. And so imagine this is where it starts and this is where it ends, okay? And so this distance right here is what we call a period, right? From where it goes to the beginning to one end, like one uh, full rotation, right? Or not rotation, but uh, where how it travels, right? So this distance is one period. It has to start at some point and then finish at that point, okay? And so what we do is when we have a wave like this, we can call this the amplitude, right? So the distance it travels up, right? So this is also the amplitude, right? So we just call this the amplitude, right? And so if we're trying to find the total distance it travels, uh, look at how this particle goes. So it's going to travel up like this, right? One amplitude, okay? And then it's going to travel back down. So it's going to go up and down, right? That's 2a, right? Because it's going to go up, down, right? So one amplitude up, one down. And then it's going to do it again, right? Then it's going to do it here. So it's going to go down, up, right? It's going to go, travels one amplitude, two amplitude, three amplitude, right? And then four. So it's just going up. Uh, it's going up, down, which is twice, up, down, which is twice, right? So a total of four times. It's going to travel the amplitude four times, right? And that's where we get this four from. We're just multiplying four times the amplitude to get the total distance it travels. Because we don't know the length of this, right? We just know the amplitude. So all you have to do is just multiply by four because it's going to uh, travel the amplitude four different times, meaning, uh, yeah, you just multiply by four, and that's going to give you your total distance. So for this problem, uh, you just multiply by four, and you get the total distance. So uh, 0.72 meters is going to be... Uh, the total distance it travels in one period. Yeah, so this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.